Right now I'm about to check out Destroy All Humans 2, which is on the original Xbox. I played the original Destroy All Humans on a rental. It's a lot of fun. It was just a real campy, real fun, almost a cult classic, you could say. And now that they got a sequel coming out, I'd like to check it out and see what new moves, new weaponry, see what else you can do now as an alien. As you can see, this is a very campy game. It's very uh, done up graphics. It's a lot of fun. And at the end of the day, you're laughing and joking about it. Calling a meteor strike on them. There we go. That's a remote detonator. See the cop right there? Boom! That takes out a large crowd right there. Hold down X. Let's go for a disintegrator ray this time. Find them. And you see they disintegrate. They go in a burst of flame then. Alright, let's go check out our objective. You got some story points and you get some menu options on it, talking to him. You could ask about his discovery right now, or joke about his discovery. I'm gonna go for a joke. Ponder the taste of fried brain. As you can see, this is a very campy game in the style of Mars Attacks. If you remember that film from back in the 90s, I believe, about the aliens from the 60s that come and try to take over the world. Show contempt for humans or accept mission? Let's show some contempt for those stupid humans. Destroy All Humans seems like a really fun game. The same style, same comedy of the first game. Had a lot of cool features, body snatching, lots of different weapons. You could pick up just about anything on the map, throw it around, even use it as weapons to hit other people and anything. Uh, right now I am ah, playing with the physics of moving around garbage cans. This was something that you could have a lot of fun with, running around town, smashing people, smashing cars, maybe smashing cars. Physics were a lot of fun. That's really nice. Check out the physics. I just shot that truck and there it goes. Alright. Now this guy's mine. I'm gonna take her with me for the fun of it. Run her into things. Hit people. See if she'll hit the sign. Yep. And look, she dynamically hits the sign. Ragged all physics. See if I can put her up and down. And draw. And that's the end of that human. Alright, I'm gonna take over a cop's body. Hopefully I won't get shot at as much. It was a free roaming game, you could go anywhere. Imagine uh, playing Grand Theft Auto, the free range of going around the map, but instead of being Tommy Rossetti, you're an alien running around trying to kill everyone. It's an interesting way to go and play a game, and I think it'll be a lot of fun for those that just want to have something to uh, relax, enjoy, and have a few laughs with their friends.